For cheap Ultimate Team Coins, go and check out ufifa.com and use my discount code EGHD at the checkout to get 5% off your order. Hello and what is up guys, Jack here from Ezekiel Gaming HD and welcome to my first FIFA 15 player prediction video. So as I said, it is a prediction video, so they are my opinions. Don't take them too seriously. If you think I've got it wrong, leave your predictions in the comment section below or tell me what you think I got wrong. Um, this is going to be my top five for FIFA 15, so it's going to be a prediction in more ways than one. I'm not only going to be predicting the players' stats and their player overall ratings and stuff like that, but I'm also going to be predicting who I think will be the top five players in FIFA 15 Ultimate Team. Obviously that will exclude legend cards because I don't know which legends will be in it. It's only going to be their base cards. Also guys, I have a FIFA 15 coins giveaway for every single player that I make a prediction for in my video. So for this video, for example, I'm going to do five giveaways. All of these giveaways will be held on Twitter. It will all make sense to you as we go through each player. So stay tuned for that and uh, I'll explain to you how to enter and how you could possibly win some early FIFA 15 coins for when it gets released. If you're looking for MSP or PSN codes to open some packs yourself, uh, you might need those for FIFA points when FIFA comes out. Go and check out G2A, link will be in the description. And also let me know if you want me to do some more of these player prediction videos by hitting that like button. And if we can smash 500 likes, I'll make sure I get another one of these out on the weekend. So guys, let's move into the first player prediction. And this is going to be the number one spot. The player that I think is going to be the highest rated player. And as you can see on the screen, it's Lionel Messi. And uh, there is a rumour or a Chinese whisper that there is... Uh, or I think there's actually factual evidence that EA have a contract with Lionel Messi to say that Lionel Messi will be the highest rated player on FIFA and uh, I don't know when it expires but that basically means that people like Ronaldo won't get a higher rated player than him. I believe it is true, I'm not 100% sure. If you know it is, put it in the comment section below and tell me why it is. But on the screen you can see his FIFA 14 card, 94 rated, you can see all of his stats there. Now let's bring in his FIFA 15 player predictions and bang, there you go. So. I believe his skill moves and his weak foot will stay the same. Four star skills, three star weak foot. I think his stats will change as well slightly. Not a lot, maybe one or two in these areas. So 91 pace, I think his pace will come down. I think his shooting might go up by one. I think his passing may go up by two. I think his dribbling and defending will stay the same. And I also believe that his heading will go up by one. Um, that's obviously not solid. That's just my predictions. Um, let me know your predictions in the comment section below. But also, if you want to be in the chance of winning something, some coins for FIFA 15, what you could do is go a step further, go into the description of this video and find a tweet saying predict foot 15 Messi. Now on the screen you can see two cards. These are two predictions that I've picked off of Twitter who replied to me. And I'm going to do this for every single player prediction and uh, I'm going to give away 10,000 FIFA 15 coins every single time. Which doesn't sound like a lot but it's probably equivalent to about 100,000 coins on FIFA 14 at the moment. So two cards you see there. Both 94 rated, and one on the left with 92 pace staying the same, 89 dribbling staying the same. He thinks his passing will go up by one, but he also thinks his dribbling will go up by two. That's something I think will be a little bit unbelievable. Um, I'm not too sure. What do you think about it? And he also thinks his heading will go up by one. The other person says uh, the pace will go down to 91, just like I said. He's, he thinks his shooting will stay the same. He thinks the passing will go up to 86, like I said as well. And he also thinks that his heading should go down to 70, uh, sorry, 67. So, a little bit of controversy there. Not everyone is stay, saying the same things about Messi. What do you believe will happen? Go onto my Twitter, reply to that tweet, and you could win yourself 10,000 foot 15 coins in the first week of the game coming out. So guys, let's move into the second highest rated player I believe there will be in FIFA 15. So obviously, that is going to be Cristiano Ronaldo. I believe, to be honest, if EA didn't have a contract with Messi, that he should be the highest rated player. Um, if you agree with me, leave it in the comment section below. And um, yeah, so as you can see on the screen, his FIFA 14 card is 92 rated. Some insane stats there. How he's not higher rated, I do not know. But let's bring in his FIFA 15 player prediction and bang! There you go, there it is on the screen, 5 star skills, 4 star weak foot, and on the right side as you can see, I believe he will get an upgrade to 93. If the contract is to stay at, you know, above Messi, I think he'll be a 93 just to stay underneath. And I think he should deserve a pace upgrade, I think he should deserve a dribbling upgrade, I think he should deserve a shooting upgrade, basically everything. If you'd have a look at his stats there, I mean how can you disagree with that? The guy is just insane. What do you think about that? Do any of you disagree with me? If you do, you know, you're entitled to your opinion. Leave it in the comment section below. And 
for the giveaway guys I said predict FIFA 15 Ronaldo and this is what you guys said so you guys said that uh, well one of you said that his pace should stay at 93 his shooting should go up by one his passing should go up by one his dribbling should go up by one uh, his defending should go up by one and his heading should go up by two the other person said that his dribbling should go down to 89 I don't think I agree with that, but you know, it ne I never know. Um, you never know with EA; they might downgrade, you know, all of these cards. I don't know. Uh, but he said that his shooting should go up to 92. Um, he thinks he should get more pace to 94, like I said. He thinks his passing should be 81, like I said. And he also said that uh, the heading should go up to or stay the same at 86 and defending at 48. So that's uh, two of your predictions that you left me in the Twitter thing. If you disagree with any of those predictions or you want to predict yourself, make sure you head over to the link in the description and win yourself some coins. So guys, in the number three position, the third highest rated player I believe there will be in FIFA 15 Ultimate Team, we have Zlatan Ibrahimovic. So on the screen, you can see his FIFA 14 card, he was an 89 rated player. He had some very good stats basically, and a lot of you have been saying that um, he is the best player in the game. A lot of people believe that he's the best striker in the game at least. And uh, I, I have to agree with that. Every time I play against him, he's just insane. In real life, he's insane. And uh, I think he will get an upgrade. So let's uh, go over to his FIFA 15 player predictions. And bang, there you go on the screen. He will have 5-star skill. I believe he will have 4-star weak foot as well, just like FIFA 14. I think he'll be upgraded to 90 at least, possibly even a 91 overall rating. He's got pace plus 2, dribbling plus 1, shooting plus 1, defending plus 1, passing plus 1, and heading plus 3. Do you agree with that? Do you think some stats should have higher ratings, or do you think he should be downgrading some of these ratings? I don't know what you're thinking. Let me know in the comment section below, or reply to my tweets. And let's move into the giveaway side of things, or the, the followers' prediction side of things and I've got two cards as you can see here we have one that is 91 rated and one that is 90 rated so believe it or not the 91 rated actually seems to be lower rated in some of these stats so he says he wants to have it with 77 pace but with 88 shooting he thinks his shooting should go down um, he thinks that 78 passing which means that's a downgrade as well but he also thinks his dribbling should go up to 91 and he also thinks his defending should go up to 58 and his heading should go up to 85 so some big upgrades and some little downgrades to make him a 91 rated card the other card which is 90 should uh, well go up to 79 pace which is a very big increase that's free pace increase he thinks the shooting should go up by one he thinks passing should go up by one he thinks the dribbling should go up by one Defending she got by two and his heading she got by four. So a lot of, well, every single prediction basically had him as an upgrade. A lot of people have been saying he should be upgraded. What do you think? Let me know. So guys, moving into the number four spot or basically the joint third position because he's also a 90 rated player in my player predictions. We have Luis Suarez and he was actually an 86 right at the start of FIFA 14. He got a plus two upgrade during the, uh, well, the upgrade part of the uh, FIFA 14 and his stats are insane. He's been playing like a beast, but he has let us down. He did basically commit something stupid, which was a bite on Chiellini's shoulder. Will that affect him? Because he will not be able to play uh, competitive football for a while. Obviously, he's going to be training and stuff like that. But competitively, will that affect his cards? I'm not too sure. Let's have a look at his FIFA 15 player prediction from me. So, bang, on the screen, we have four-star skills, four-star weak foot. I think he'll get an upgrade to 90. I think if he didn't get that ban, I could have put him as 91. But I think that will... Uh, that EA will take that into consideration and not rate him as high. I think his pace should go up by two. I think his dribbling should go up by one. I think his uh, shooting should go up by four. He's, he's scored so many goals. His shooting is insane. Defending plus one, passing plus two, and his heading as well, plus four. Obviously scoring against uh, England with that header as well. We will also uh, take that into consideration from EA. That's my pre uh, player prediction. Um, if you agree with that, let me know. Also, you can predict that in the description of the video. Now, let's move on to your predictions we have an 89 rated card a 90 rated card you can see the stats on the screen I don't really need to run through it for you know the fourth time for this video you can see the predictions right there what do you think about that do you think there should be some slight changes to them if you do make sure you tweet me back so guys moving into the last spot the number five spot we have Aryan Robben obviously he's had a brilliant World Cup he performed very very well um, he's currently 88 rated in FIFA 14 now let's see what I think his FIFA 15 card will be Bang! On the screen, you can see it. He has an 89, or I've given him an 89 rated player uh, card. Some of you believe he should be 90 rated. So, this is going to be a tough one. What do you guys think? It's a very sticky or very tough situation. Not sticky, but you know where that was going to go if I kept going down that route. But, 
I think he's going to be an 89 rated player. And obviously, if he's an 89 rated player, players such as Iniesta will obviously be joined fifth with him as well. But on the screen, you can see four star skills, I think, will stay the same. Two star weak foot. I think his pace will go up by two because he was one of the fastest players in the World Cup. And uh, I don't believe he should only have 92 pace, which is basically the same as Messi. I think top speed wise, this guy should have a lot more uh, sprint speed, basically, in game stats. So I think 94 is right. Dribbling should go up by one. He's just insane. Like, it's ball control. He's dribbling everything put together. 90 three rated at least shooting plus one to 86 defending plus two because he does work he does work quite hard and uh, passing plus one as well to 81 heading i think should stay the same it's not a big header of the ball and uh, that's why i think his fifa 15 card will be and uh here are your two uh, or two followers predictions. Now, both of these cards are 90 rated. One of you have put them at 95 pace. Another has put them at 94. One of you have even put his shooting to 87. So, obviously, a lot of uh, controversy here. Which player rating do you think is most likely to happen? The 89 rated card from me or the follower predictions, which is going to be a 90 rated card. If you believe something else should be different on the cards, make sure to reply to my tweet, which will be in the description, to win yourself some FIFA 15 coins. Thanks for watching this FIFA 15 player prediction on the top five players that will be in FIFA 15. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please remember to drop a like. It would be greatly appreciated. And if you'd like me to do some more of these player prediction videos, as it is my first one, make sure you let me know in the comment section and also help me with some feedback by hitting that like button. Um, that's also very important as I know then that I should upload some more for you guys. So I hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you later. Bye. Yeah.